Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I will be reviewing the Peak Deck from Eddie Raymond. Before we do this, can you do a couple of things? Uh, one of which is have a nice time, enjoy it. That's the most important one, isn't it? Uh, the second one is there'll be a link below to cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online course, over 500 videos, new footage added most weeks and every month. I've just uploaded a whole course on the multiple shift uh, and you can request things if you don't find them on there. There's everything on there, controls, uh, shifts, as I've just said. What's the other ones? <laughs> <laughs> forces, <laughs> switches, there you go, I'm on a roll now, double lift, everything, basically everything you want, and the whole course on the Royal Roads Card Magic, which I'm adding to uh, again every couple of months, anyway, you know, loads of stuff on it, have a look, um, but, and it's going to change its name soon, but the link will still work, so this is, oh, like and subscribe, <laughs> oh, and by the way, have a nice time, <laughs> oh gosh, me. right, I'll talk about the actual thing, shall I, seeing as that's kind of what you're here for. It's been a tough week. So this is a peak device. And as it says, we've got it up there, um, the best peak device on the planet. It's a big claim, isn't it? There, there are also um, some claims on here. It, it's basically seen as an alternative to a peak wallet. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But no peak wallet offers this much innocence. No peak wallet allows this much freedom for writing. No peak wallet allows this much capacity for information. No peak wallet allows this much ease in peaking. So He's, he's really, and Eddie Raymond has really um, sort of marketed this as, a, as an alternative to a peak wallet. And I think, yes, it is. Um, there are obviously different ways of getting peak other than a wallet. So you, you can do center tears and things like that. So uh, numerous ways of doing it. Uh, but what you want to know, is it any good? And what does it do? So what it does, it's not what I thought it was. I thought this was going to be a way of peaking a card, and it isn't. What you do, and I'll kind of, I'll kind of demonstrate this up here. Um, so it's, don't, don't think this is a proper demonstration. In fact, you get this with it. You can use this or not, but I kind of like, like the thing. Um, and this is going to be in context. I'm just showing you the workings, the, the process, right? So you would um, give someone uh, a card to, to write something on. They write something on that. You would then put the card face down. So you can't see if the writing is on that side. That would, they would slide that into the deck. You would close the deck up. And on that, for that, from that point, you've got the information you want. So you wouldn't do it up. I'm, I'm up here, you know, down it. So you do it in a more natural way than that. I can't get a demonstration because I'm not performing with people at the moment one to one in the cafe and stuff because people are a bit um, worried about the old Omicron, Omicron, Omicron. So easy for me to say. So um, that's what it is. So on that card can be written, obviously, a name, a number, a random word, whatever, and you get the word. It can also be done on a business card. But the point of this is you're not using a peak wallet. You're not using anything like that or a center tower. You're using the deck itself to get the, to get the peak. So the deck is the peak device. And the claim is it's a very natural thing. So he's specifically chosen red back bikes with 808 backs. Do you know the, the these backs rather than the ones you get on the, you know, with a card on? Um, because these are the most common, he says, if you lined up a load of decks and people say choose the most common one, it would be that one. So he's thought about that. He said he's been through a load of iterations of this and worked on different peaks. And this is the one he uses, which I totally believe. It's very good and it's very clear. But there's a couple of things that I think uh, aren't negatives, but need to be discussed. Yes, you would argue that it's more natural than a wallet. But if you're a mentalist working and you're not using cards, then you're not going to be using cards anyway. So to get the cards out wouldn't make any sense. Actually, to get a wallet out would make more sense. But as he said, most of us are doing cards as well. So they would be on the table and you can do something very simple to, you know, you could do a card trick, do a simple thing after that, do a piece of mentalism and then go back to this and do this. And it would seem very, very natural to do because you're using something that's already in play. If it's not already in play, I would argue that it's, in a way, it's kind of just as, in a way, just as unnatural than getting a wallet out because it's all about how you perform it and he does go into the subtleties of this briefly he talks um on the instructions in the written instructions about you know you, you wouldn't make it obvious write it down you'd say it as a kind of after what i'll write it down so we don't forget actually uh, write on a card yeah right so you, that's kind of what you need to do with this i think you've got to be careful if you get the cards out and you kind of just use them as that and put them back it does kind of do what he says it isn't going to do and and takes the sort of the effect away from what you're doing and makes it on into a card thing which could without the right thought be a bit jarring I think 
saying that, I personally would use this without a shadow of a doubt if it was the right context. I think the good thing is that it gives you a lot of time for that peak. There's a, nat a natural movement to this, which you don't get with a wallet sometimes. You do with practice, but when I started using a peak wallet, I felt weird kind of doing a thing and kind of looking. It, I, it took me a while to get the confidence. With this, in the action of closing the box, you know, putting it away, you've got plenty of time to get the information you need. There's going to be a little bit of audience management, I think, because you want them without giving too much away to write it. Yes, you've got loads of space, but just you might have to kind of tell them a little bit or give them a little bit of restriction just in case they kind of don't write on the side of the card or something like that. But I think it's a really well-made prop. Um, it's, it's a really clever idea. It's, I was going to say it's bold, but it's not really. It's super easy. And if, if you're going to use it without the box, you, you might, if you're not used to performing, you might go, oh, am I going to get away with that? But you really are. Um, so you don't need any sleight of hand for this. You, you aren't really going to need any practice. Rehearsal, yes, to get the moves, but practice, no. Uh, and I think it's really deceptive. And of course, with any peak device, you have to put a presentation around it. It's not really good enough just to say it because it, it kind of takes away from it. So I think it's for s people who are kind of, well, not just getting introduced to the idea of peaking, but are a little bit nervous about it. It'll be great for you to go in with that because, again, very easy. For those of you that are used to it, that want something that, that works with something different than a wallet, it's great. So I think it's a solid piece of work. Um, I really like it. There's probably loads I've missed out. So any questions, do let me know. The links will be below. Thank you, Eddie, for sending it to me. Uh, have a great one. Like and subscribe. Check out carbmagiccourse.com or whatever it's called uh, by the time this goes out. Click the link below and take care. Bye-bye.